Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. In this episode I show you an external floppy drive for the Amiga. It's the Commodore 1011. It's the uh, successor of the Commodore 1010 that's made for the Amiga 1000. The 1011 is made for the Amiga 500 in the design of the 1010 but a little bit smaller case. So let's plug it in and test the drives and take a look inside. So let's start it. So here we have the floppy drive on the bench. And you see it's the same design as the 1010. The rear port for Plugging in another drive is missing. This disk drive is from 1990. It's a three and a half inch. And you see it's an external model. You can use uh, double density disks with a capacity of 880 kilobytes. It's uh, in MFM coding. And you have 80 tracks, you have 20 sectors per track, and you have 50 12 bytes per sector. And it's the normal Amiga disk drive connector. So, with all the points, is uh, nothing special, nothing fancy. Yeah. Inside of this is a modified Genon 354 drive. So, um, from its conditions, it's dirty and a little bit yellowed. So, put it on the machine and let's test this. So, I have this floppy disk drive connected to my A500 plus. I fixed this in uh, some episodes before. So I put the link in the description and in the info card. And the Amiga tank mouse. For this uh, also an episode where I refurbished this. So I put this link in the description. You see the workbench is running, and so we need some program to testing. We use this blue disk. Put this in. Yeah, it's working. Yeah, so let's start it up. Oh, it's booting. Programs running and we have a sound. So, and you see, a lot of drinks. So, it's working fine. So let's open it up and clean this, put this together, and then we are fine. So let's take it apart. Flip this on the back. You see Amiga 1010, uh, 1011, it's an external 3.5 disk drive. 
put the screwdriver and open this up. It's a little bit yellow and dirty. Yeah. Ooh. Dusty. No. Gently put this out. Dusty too. The case we clean later. So, put this on the side, and here we have the drive, a Chinon FB354. Oh, opens up. Hmm. We need a different bit. Smaller one. Open and closing this drive and clean this is uh, similar to the other drives in the Amiga 500. So nothing special. This we clean too. And here we have the drive. Yeah, it's a little bit dirty. We clean this up, put new silicon grease on the motor. And then we are good to go. It's a drive without a belt. It's a direct drive. That's very good. With the cotton swab and IPA. Lots of fluff in here and dust, but that's all for his age. It's very clean. Oh. So, here we're cleaning around the heads first very carefully not to damage the heads with one of on the bottom you see here and one on the top is a double sided drive oh no we use a fresh garden swap put ipa on it and clean carefully the heads They are not so dirty. So. Then we clean the motor. So, the old grease is gone and we use fresh silicon grease. Mm. 
then we put it here. So and here in front of the two switches are working fine. We get the yes, a microfiber cloth cleaning this button, check button. So this is ready. Now I clean the case and then we can reassemble. So all is cleaned up. Let's put this thing together. First we start with the metal housing. So now we've got this ground plane and before we put this in, we take a little bit of contact cleaner in there. For a good connection. So. Before you screw in the screws in old plastic stands, put a little bit on the on the left. So that you get the old threads, it's easier to screw and you don't damage the standoff. Now all is put together. I've cleaned the wire too. So the last we have to do is a quick test. And now it's time for the final test. You see workbench is loaded. Here we have our refurbished disk drive. Looks almost new. And let's try our disk from the beginning and we will see oh it's not the right disk oh here we are It's loading. That seems okay. Yeah, and we have sound.
Yeah, it's still working. Perfect. So this is for this episode. You see the old disk drives are very reliable and it's not that difficult to make, uh, look, uh, make it looking nice again. If the disk drive is not working, it's uh, a lot of work to fix this and it could be very difficult. I hope you guys found this video informative and uh, entertaining. Let me know in the comments. And if you like this video, hit the like button. If you want more videos, subscribe to my channel and I see you in the next time.